everyone and welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a long time no see for me because i was laying low with all of this youtube copa which is like the child online protection stuff um so i deleted all of my content and uh going forward i set my channel for 18 years and over like they say you should if you're not aimed at making content toward children which it's all just confusing and I really honestly don't know <laughs> what's going on any more than I did a couple of months ago. So just to cover my bases, I deleted my content and I had questions about it. And no, I can't get it back because I don't save it to a computer. I film straight from my phone. So it's just basically starting everything all over again. And again, what is that? Again. And yeah, so... I'm going to show my completed pages for October, November, and December because I didn't show those pages. And that way, when January ends, it'll be a smooth continuation. And I really don't know what the future is like as far as my channel is going to go because I can't be bothered with all that legal stuff. It's annoying and obnoxious and <laughs> a headache. So we shall see. We shall just see. So I'm going to try to show these in order of when i completed everything my books toppled over <laughs> so they kind of got mixed up so i hope they stay in the same order and i am filming in a bit of a different place not my desk because my lighting is trash <laughs> so anyway um if you stuck around to see what was going to happen as far as my channel is concerned i truly appreciate it and that is enough of me yappering so let's just get started Okay, so hopefully everything is sturdy. I'm back to my OG table that I used to film on when I first started my channel because the lighting in my desk sucks. Anyway, so one of the pictures I completed, I actually finished this September 29th, but technically I'm going to just say it was October because it just is. So I finished um, a picture called Railroad Rendezvous. I have to say that so slowly. In Steampunk Darlings by Hannah Lynn. And it is this one right here. And I had so much fun coloring this picture because I used gouache. So I used gouache for her clothing, gouache for his clothing, his hat. I used some Black Widows for his pants. And then um, I used Arteza for their skin. And my favorite part of this picture are her cheeks and her chin and his cheekbones. Like, I don't even know how I did that, but... I did and I think it's so adorable and there are some stickles and glitter gel pen on this page and I used my super tip markers to just dab some dots all about her ruffles because I feel like it's a good way to break up the pattern of clothing like it just adds something special to it and ain't nobody got time for that for coloring each and every one of these individual ruffles so that's how this one turned out and I really like this picture and I had a lot of fun. So next, I did one in Vampires 2. I finally completed a picture in here um, by Jay Summer. And I don't know if I had shown this one, but this was an October finish. And it reminds me of Twilight a lot in a way when they laid in the grass or something, even though they weren't lying like this, but whatever. Anyway, I used a marker base for some of it, and then the rest was pencil. And I believe I, I used my Artezas for her skin because once I get on the Arteza kick for skin, I just use it on like all of my skin. Um, so I used Arteza for her skin. I used some gouache back here for the bushes, some marker, acrylic paint, super chips. And I do have stickles on here. So it's stickles and that little magical flower stuff going on and then some of her jewelry. But I had a lot of fun with this one and it didn't take me that long to do. Then I completed one in Jasmine Beckett Griffith's coloring book, the first one. And let's see if I can find it. I completed the Halloween Twilight picture. And I really had fun doing this one too because I used Arteza for her skin. And I used a super tip base for her wings, super tips for her dress. And then I just went over it with pencil. Um... And my mom was like, do a black pumpkin. So this is my interpretation of a black pumpkin. <laughs> and I used some Neo Color 2 for the background. And then I think 
all this was intense I believe and then I had fun making the tombstones look kind of mossy and there is stickles galore on this thing because I was going to make her dress black but then I changed my mind because the pumpkin will be black so I went with burgundy and it just coordinates with her wings and I think it looks so good it turned out so nicely so I really enjoyed this one and then I put fangs on her to make her a vampire so <laughs> obviously this one was a hoot to do okay next I did one and I believe this one is called a dream in red mansions so I completed this one and I used washi tape for her kimono and I used super tips as a base went over with pencil this was marker and chalk pastel for the background and I believe I used black widows for her hair or I might have used polys. I'm not sure, but I know I did polys for her skin. And I think her skin came out really well. Because I usually don't use polychromos for skin because I'm still learning with them. But I've been using them a lot lately. So hopefully I'll have some good skin color combinations. And there is stickles on her, of course, because everything needs glitter. <laughs> not if you don't like glitter, because some people don't. But I love glitter. So this is how she came out. And... I have fun with this one next I have I think this one is called Knights of Drunken River or something with Kung Fu because I've seen an interpretation of this one called something with Kung Fu but I'm not really sure and I completed a double page spread in this one so I used Neo Color 2 in the background I used ink tints for the ground I used Arteza for their skin and I'm really in love with this blue color that comes in the Arteza called Mykonos Blue and I love to use that blue so I used it on the flowers I, I think I used it in another picture too coming up but there is lots of glitter gel pen and that's all because I didn't put stickles because it's a double double sided book but there's also metallic gel pen and I had fun with this one it didn't take me long because I did use ink tints for his um, robe or kimono and I used ink tints for her clothing as well because I feel like ink tints has a certain texture to it and it it adds something extra when you use it on clothing in my opinion so I like to use it for clothing to make it look textured but yes that was this picture and it was a lot of fun to do and I think I did this in like two or three nights because the ink tints and stuff helped speed things through and I'm really proud of how their skin came out so that is this one yep all right so I've had the magical journey for a couple of months and I did not color anything in it because I couldn't decide on a page because it's like eight of them in here that I wanted to start with but I chose the Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. It's funny we say Las Vegas, but it's Las in Spanish. But anyway, I did the Vegas page and I used ink tints, of course, because whomever decided that ink tints was the medium to use in these books, we all just follow suit. And I used ink tints as well. Although I did go over a lot of this with pencil and I can't recall if I used... Prismas or polychromos. I'm not really sure because I don't write anything down and y'all know I got CRS so I don't know but <laughs> mostly it was ink tints and I did put stickles on the Eiffel Tower because why not and then there's stickles some other places on this page and then I drew in this cowboy I drew in the cow print for the cowboy's shirt, I should say. And I think he came out really cool. And yeah, this was this one. And I kept little Patty black because her dog is a little black pug. If I could find the picture. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to keep him black. I just outlined him so he wouldn't get lost in the background. So this one was cool to do. Then I completed one in one of my favorite Chinese coloring books, coloring book of the gorgeous wedding dress. And I completed the deer spirit in the lake picture. And this is the Mykonos blue I, I was talking about. I really love that blue. It's a mix with Prisma though for this dress. So Arteza and Prisma 
and I used Neo Color 2 for the background to make this look foggy and rainy and then also for the water and I used mostly Arteza because I used Arteza on her skin and her hair and the flowers and her dress obviously so everything basically and then she does have some stickles on her jewelry and I had a lot of fun coloring her and I think she came out really nice and I like how I did her gloves they actually look really nice like they're white so I didn't even write down what color I used for that but I'm sure I will rediscover it again so that was Dear Spirit in the Lake next I have a buddy color that I did with coloring F and it's from the Nutcracker Designs coloring book by Marty Noble and we chose this one and I am so surprised at myself because I did use a marker base for some of the picture as you can see but I did use my polychromos pencils so I used Polly's for the curtain for her um, tutu costume I think this was Arteza but everything else was polychromos and my favorite thing on the whole picture is my little gingerbread man down here and then how I decorated the candles and of course there's glitter gel pen and stickles because it would not be a Christmas picture in my opinion without those things so um oh I also use super tips and then this was polychromos for my leaves so I'm really proud of myself for following through and using my polys for like 90% of this picture and I just love to look at all the stickles and the glitter because it's so pretty but yes this was the end result of this picture okay so I completed one in Wonderful Christmas by Jay Summer and I've only done like two or three pictures in this book which is a shame because it the season just passed for me to do these and I only did this one and I usually don't use washi tape for a border on my pages. I mostly use it for clothing and things like that. But I have some of these metallic colors and I don't use them. And I was like, it probably would look really nice if I put it on the border of this picture. So that's what I ended up doing. And as you can see, it is super reflective. But I used a marker base for majority of this picture. And I also used my polychromos because I told y'all I'm trying to use them. And I get on this kick with stuff. So I did polys um, to do some shading and the Christmas tree. And I used super tip markers a lot on this as well. And I used washi tape for grandma's skirt. I used washi tape for her blanket. And again, as I mentioned, the border and I drew little things on the presents and the dog's sweater, these little snowflakes. And I drew in the pattern for grandma's sweater because once I did it with marker, I didn't feel like going over with pencil. So I kind of cheated and just drew a pattern and I was like, that looks fine. So that's what I did there. And of course, there are stickles on this page. And um, I don't think I use glitter gel pen. I use some metallic pen for her knitting needles. And I put little rips in his jeans. So, I thought that would look <laughs> really cool. And Rudolph's nose on the sweater has a bit of stickles on it too, if you can see that. But yes, I had a lot of fun with my polys on this page. So, that was that one. My books are sliding. I'm trying to <laughs> have them not fall on the floor. Okay, so next I completed a picture in A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo. And... Of course, it's a food picture, so prepare yourself, because <laughs> y'all know food is my jam, if I can find it. Okay, so I completed this picture, and I will zoom in a bit, because this book is so tiny. So, I used mostly polychromos, because I'm really trying to use my poly. So, I used mostly polychromos, and I did use fine liner to put the lines in the lollipops. And there is some black glitter gel pen on my panda bear ears and eyes, just their features just to add something extra so they just wouldn't be plain black. I used a, I think a little bit of stickles and silver metallic pen for these pearls because we actually have these at the store where they look like gold and silver um, but you can eat it and you can d decorate cakes and stuff with it so I based those on those kinds of things and I think up here there's some glitter gel pen on my sloths and yeah this was really fun to do and Lulu Mayo actually featured this on her Instagram so I'm really happy that that happened and surprised because you know she noticed my work and I did use a bit of gouache on these kinds of cookies because 
they were black and I didn't like the black outlines. So I put brown gouache and did like some sugar or salt, whatever you would like it to be on there. So this one was really fun. And I usually don't use my fine liners, but I actually used them on this picture. So yeah, they got some use. That was this one. I really got to get back to the Million Sloths book because it's so cute. Okay, so next I have a picture that I did. I'm going to zoom out in Minuet de Bonheur. And I did a double page spread. Ay, ay, ay. This was a labor of love when I say because I would work on some and put it away. And I did that for months. <laughs> like, I don't even know how many months. This was a work in progress, and I think I got bored with it simply because I colored all the fun stuff for me first, which was, of course, all the food, and then I had all the animals and dishware and stuff to do, and I was bored, and I didn't want to do it. So, I think <laughs> that's what the problem was with me completing this picture, but I finished it finally, so I used mostly gouache for, well, I did use gouache for the wall, the blanket, and the table. And then I used ink tints here and here and on these two uh, mugs or whatever those are and the dishes and I did use my Prismacolor. So I used all Prismacolor for this when it came to the pencil work. And I'm really proud of my shadows I was able to achieve on like my lemon and I did a little shadow with the frog's legs. So what I will do is take you... On this side so you can see and my favorite bunny is this one I love him he's so adorable so that's this side and then I will move you so you can see this side a little better and I did use washi tape on my bunny's dress over here and I'm still not really that great a fur <laughs> but you know I gave it a go and like I said this was gouache and I put a bit of pencil over it so it wouldn't look so flat and yeah, that was this one. So I'm really proud of how this page came out. It was such a labor of love. One I will never forget <laughs> because it took me, it felt like six months, probably less than that. But anywho, I have a book by Make Lemonade and I ordered this from Amazon Japan. And I don't know the name of it, but it has Sleeping Beauty, um, The Nutcracker and Swan Lake stories in it. And I finally completed a page in this book because I have so many whips. So it started with this page and I messed up the cookies. I hated how I did everything. Even though I did all this with my Polly. So I really fell in love with this green combination. <laughs> but yeah, I messed up the cookies and then I tried to go over with gouache and it came out terrible. And then I threw stickles on it because I thought it would make me feel better. It did not. So <laughs> I did this picture on the opposite side where I will be able to use, uh, I got some glossy accents so it makes things look 3d I don't know if you can see it but I used it on the bows I don't know if it's going to show up oh you can see it be glossy there you go and so I decided I could use stickles and the 3d gloss accents because I'm not going to come back to this page unfortunately so yeah I completed this one and wait for it I used all polychromos so I'm really proud of myself for doing that I think I used like a couple of prismas and I used some glitter gel pen, metallic gel pen, like I mentioned before, the 3D accents and stickles. So here this is in all its glory and I just love all the glitteriness. <laughs> oh, and I used fine liner for, to draw this pattern and on the presence down here. And I used chalk pastel for the background and just erased out some dots so it could look like snow or whatnot. And I had a lot of fun with this one and I'm happy about the outcome of this one versus the other one because... I just had a time. I had a time to say the least. Alright, so next I have one that I completed from Maui Mermaids. And I, this is a bit out of order, but they fell, so. <laughs> Anywho, I know I'm late getting this book because I just got it a couple of weeks ago. Because I haven't hauled about getting it and then I finally decided to just go ahead and get it. Because I'm not a super massive Hannah Lynn fan, but I do like her work. But for a long time, I didn't like her stuff. <laughs> so it's so funny how taste changes. But I did the Luau Ladies, and I used a marker base for majority of this picture. And I went over it with Polychromos. <laughs> and I have my stickles on here and glitter gel pen. And I just love to look at the stickles. This is... I want to say sea glass stickles. It's so pretty. So it actually matched my marker perfectly so I could use it. 
But um, like I said, I used marker, polychromos. I used um, some metallic gel pen. I used super tips for their lays to do the dot effect because I think it adds, you know, texture to things. And it looks pretty cool. So I also added tribal paint on their faces and little magic coming from their sticks because whatever they're doing out here in the middle of the night, I don't know, maybe they need tribal paint for it. Y'all know I make up stories. <laughs> so that's the story I had in my head. And I made this little rock because it was like the lone rock here. And I was like, oh, maybe I can make it metallic. It has to do something to do with their magic. So I don't know. But here's this one. Okay, so next I have a picture that I did in The Magical Christmas, and I love this book, and I don't only want to just color it at Christmas time, I want to color it throughout the year because the pictures are just, it just makes me happy, I like them. So I completed this one called God Bless Us Everyone, and this was a buddy color with my fabulous friend Francis Coloring F here on YouTube. We love our buddy colors, and so I chose this one we chose this one i don't know it's funny because i had already picked this picture out beforehand a couple of weeks ago and then when francis sent me pictures of which ones we should do i just automatically gravitated to this one because in my mind subconsciously i was like i want to do this one anyway so i used intense of course and i used a bit of super tips to make this grass and there are black stickles on scrooge's tombstone i don't know if you can see it Oh wait, there you go. And then there are stickles on his cane and then the ghost of Christmas past? He's past or is he present? No, future. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I finished this one and I used Neo Color 2 for the background and I made a bit of a pattern on his pants. Oh, and his shoes are glittery. I put a little bit of black stickles on Scrooge's shoe. So this one was fun to do and I used fine liner for his robe right here and then um oh no super tips not fine liner I used super tips and then I used um Posca for the snow. So I really enjoyed this one. I want to do another one. I would like to finish my Naked Santa one of these years because I started this in like 2018 and I actually wrote the colors down so I could finish this building. And I never got back to it. Okay, so lastly, I have this beauty, and I got this as a free PDF from Fabiana Atanasio. She released this, like, December 23rd or something, so that day, of course, I printed it and colored it because y'all know she's one of my favorite um, artists, illustrators, and I love everything she does for the most part, and I could not help myself. I had to complete this one immediately. And I had so much fun. So I did use some marker as a base for her dress in the background and some of the holly leaves. But the rest was pencil and I used Arteza for her skin. Um, I believe I used Arteza for her dress. And I used some of my Ganzai Tambi Starry Gold watercolor paint for the buildings. And then it's just stickled to death. Like when I tell you it is stickled to death, I really mean that this time. And I also used some of my glossy accents for all of the white puffy part of her dress. And I don't know if you can see it, but it actually is like a 3D effect. It's so cool and it makes it look all shiny. And I blame Coloring at V's and Amberly because they kept showing glossy accents. And I was like, what is that? I need some. And so I ordered some and I don't regret it. So uh, I feel like I will definitely be using it in the future. So that's everything that I've colored for the past three months. And I hope everyone had a happy holiday season. Um, I hope everyone has a prosperous new year. And I really hope that everything works out so that I'll be able to continue to create content. I'm not really sure. Don't ask me no questions, y'all. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty much sums it up. So hopefully I'll be able to film a completed pics video in January. And I hope to see you there. And thanks for hanging in there with all of us color tubers as this crap gets worked out. Truly appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Before I completely go, I would like to show you guys uh, the three books that I got for Christmas. So I had no idea what I wanted for Christmas, but I did have a couple of books on my wish list. So my mom just got those for me. So I did get the Silhouettes Magique's Disney book. And it's basically silhouettes of Disney characters with the theme of 
their movie or whatnot around them and things to do with their character so I really hope to start one soon and there is a flip through out here on color with Claire's channel but I can do one if you would like so that's this one I received Mermaids by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and I know I'm super late about this but this was on my wish list and I haven't hauled about getting it so my mom just went ahead and got it for me for Christmas so I have this one now and the last book that I received for Christmas was the HBO Game of Thrones coloring book. This is different from a other Game of Thrones coloring book because this one is actually the HBO version of the characters and scenes. So that's Brienne and the Red Witch Melisandre. So they actually look like, this book is huge. They actually look like the characters and the scenery from the actual show versus the one that I have, which is just the artist's interpretation. And this book does intimidate me a tad bit, but not all that much. And I hope that I can use watercolor or paint in it like I've seen some people do. I mean, this book is so huge. Like, look at my hand and then look at this book. So, I do love it and I hope that I can do it some justice. Um, Even if I have to do like a little bit by a little bit. I definitely would like to start something in here and that was the last book that I received for Christmas however I did forget to um, mention a picture that I completed and I gave it to my auntie for Christmas I got her a frame and everything I've never framed any of my artwork it was so weird but she's a Sagittarius so I completed the Sagittarius sign by Mystic Art Mares from her um, Zodiac Ladies coloring book and I have the PDF version, so I completed that for my auntie, and I will insert that here. So, for real this time, <laughs> that concludes my video about everything I've colored in the last three months. And I appreciate everyone watching, still subscribed. <laughs> and supporting my channel in that way. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video hopefully.